That's what we're after. When it comes to hanging on to fish, well, obviously it needs to come all together, and that's with a really good knot. I'm gonna show you this one. This is called the FG, or the Fine Grip, and I highly recommend it, because I reckon it's one of the strongest knots you can tie when it comes to putting braid onto fluorocarbon or mono. First things first, this is the mono or the fluorocarbon leader side. So I've actually got this wrapped under my feet, nice and secure, so it's nice and tight. On the other end, you got your fishing rod. Now this is the braid. Step one, all we do is we just loop that up. Simple as that. We're just gonna wrap it around the back fingers a couple of times and then secure it again on the middle finger. And then with the index and the thumb, open her up. So it's a triangle, simple as that. And that's all nice and tight and secure in there. Now, on the other hand, I've got this, the leader, underneath my foot. That's tight, really, really secure. What we're gonna do is we're gonna thread it underneath. Now this middle finger will sit in the middle so you can actually use this to grab the line. So all we do is we go around, grab it with the middle finger, and then just keep wrapping it. Now we'll do that about five times. And there's our five times. Hold it and just compress it down. So that just makes that knot that little bit shorter. Then we'll go another five, like that. Do the same thing, compress it down, and we'll go five again. There we go. Compress it down, and another five. There you go, done. So that's basically the FG that's sitting on that leader right there, easy as that. Just grab it in your mush, crush it down, pinch where they all meet together, pull your hand out like that. So that's all secure. Now, next step is we wanna secure all this together. So I'm gonna do that using half hitches. So all we do is we just drop that around the line and we just do that half hitch. That first one's important because that'll secure it all together. Now all we do is we go the other way. So we just go backwards, do exactly the same thing. There you go, back and then forward. Now we've done three. So what we'll do is we'll finally do it with a lock knot. So we're just gonna go through twice, three times. We'll just pull that together, down, bang. So that's really locked in tight, and we can test that as well, just by pulling and putting a bit of pressure and putting a bit of muscle into that line. How's that? Now, last step, we're almost there. We're just gonna put it all around the braid now, just the braid. So we'll do those half hitches again. There's our first one, forward, and then we'll go back, and then forward. There you go. And then we'll do that lock knot. So we'll go back again. We'll put it through one, two, and three times. So there's your lock knot. So that's all done. So just test it. Make sure it's all locked in nice and tight. There you go. That's solid. That's not going anywhere. Now, I like to use these. These are trusty, and I reckon I've cut more braid than toenails. So we'll come straight in here and we're just gonna cut that excess leader off. So cut it nice and close. You can feel pretty secure about that. And that'll just make sure that it rolls through the guides when you're casting nice and easy. And that's done. Last step, we cut off this excess here. This is your braid. Done. That's an FG knot or the fine grip. You can use it on light lines, you can use it on heavy lines. I recommend you have a go and learn this one because you probably never go back. The FG knot, why don't you try it?